Hello everyone, welcome you back for the session on the microphone. Uh, before going with respect to the microphone technology, uh, we will know something about the uh, background history with respect to the microphone. As you know that the microphone is the lowest cost component with having a high technological implementation. These uh, microphones are having a major application that too, especially in the case of the electronic products that too may be in the cell phones or it may be in the computers or even with respect to the ga game consoles. Now as you know that uh, microphone market is greatly capturing it and also the commercialization and also implementation with respect to the technology is also uh, moving forward. Now as you know that the size and also the price is, uh, price is a another, another competent with respect to the technology. Now uh, as one of the, uh, the scaling law with which is favorable in, in meaning with respect to the dimension of the MEMS microphone is generally matching to the wavelength and as well as the sound waves. The sound waves, what it, what it is emerging from the microphone, it should be a clear and also it should not have a, a, any in interference with, with the other devices. Now the MEMS de devices uh, can realize a small form of the factor to fit into ever shrinking the size and also a portable electronics. Now as you know that larger the, larger the volume of the mass production, the MEMS cost is also very very less and also the product cost. As you know that the microphone can perform a sophisticated electronic function like such as a digitalization and also beam forming and also noise cancellation. Now fortunately there are two surprising reasons or favor in the MEMS technology. The one is with respect to the atomization. As you know that the size starts decreasing it, the entire either it may be the soldering or it may be the mountings or it may be the pick and place of the instruments or it may be the components is done by using the machines only. Now these devices as it becomes the small, they can reach to a considerably a high temperature that especially uh, around 260 degrees centigrade. Now as you know that here uh, to avoid this uh, inorganic materials are also used. Now uh, the, the electronic components, electronic components including the high frequency components are also means a greater electromagnetic interferences. As you know that uh, the MEMS microphone with a sophisticated electronic functions is a crucial for the future development. In the case of the MEMS technology, the better edge of the integ integrating a single processing function which is nothing but a digitalization and also noise reduction, array, array formation and also power management. As you know that the power management plays a major role not to especially with respect to the devices either it may be the the cell phones or it may be with respect to the game console or even in the computers. Now the next part is with respect to the design consideration. As we know that the products starts reducing with respect to the size. Even the complexity is also increasing it. Now the perhaps the consideration of the micro microphone the most commonly used MEMS principle is that the device consists of a diaphragm and also the perforated plate. The back plate and as well as the diaphragm are parallel to each other. The incoming acoustic waves causes the diaphragm to vibrate whereas the back plate remains still. Now, uh, however, sorry, however, uh, one difficulty in considering the microphone is the stresses on the diaphragm. The diaphragm material has a compressive stress and also the tensile set. The diaphragm will be a buckled. The diaphragm is a tensile, it will be a certainly be a feasible. However, the stresses level plays a major role that depends upon the what we can say the resonant frequency. The schematic diagram shows the uh, a microphone. Here in this case, my microphone consists of the two things. One is the diaphragm, the another one is a back plate. Now here in this case, the acoustic waves, what it is generating it are that is, is passed through the back plate. Because of that, the diaphragm will be vibrating it. The same stresses must be uh, realized from the wafer to wafer and as well as batch to batch. The most important challenging is nothing but the diaphragm must be a conductive to take the advantages with respect to the a captive and as well as sensing principle. 
However, the smaller and alone makes the winning of the product as a size small as a size starts decreasing it, and even the price is also starts decreasing it. Now, the company name, which is called as a no less. My, uh, has developed a microphone or a no less electronics a micro uh, developed a microphone that the two in uh, 2010 which is having a additional features and also uh, implemented with respect to the a cosmos and also the what we can say the mems chips as we know that the com cosmos is nothing but a complementary metal oxide semiconductor this technology is is also used in which what we can say the power consumption with respect to the MEMS is also decreasing it. The MEMS chip is designed based on the variation of the uh, condenser of the microphone. The schematic diagram shows the uh, what we can say the MEMS chip and also the Cosmos, Cosmos chip incorporation. Now the lower figure uh, shows the MEMS chip in which the no less microphone where it consists of the back plates even these back plates consists of the air gaps these uh, back plates is also uh, having the electrodes the back plates is supported by means of a bonding pad in front of the what we can say the back plate a diaphragm will be there this diaphragm will be in the vibration condition